So we'll be talking about some things you need to know before having sexual pleasure with a new partner. Okay, this video is very, very important. So make sure you watch it until the end. Okay, it will help you and save you some embarrassment with this new person that you are about to date. All right, so we'll be talking about 10 or 11 things that you need to know before you jump into bed with the next person. All right, so welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, IJ, you already know how we do here. But in case you don't, we talk about all things love, sex, and relationship as it concerns men. I try to help you understand women and also to help you pick the best woman for you. And guys, I have a Patreon where you can reach me directly. Talk to me on everything that concerns love, sex, and relationship. Your secret is safe with me and you will not get judged. Also, if you want me to match make you to someone, join my Patreon also. Send me your specifics and I'll be able to help you find the best woman for you. Now, that being said... Welcome and welcome back again. Let us jump straight into these things that you need to know before jumping in bed with the next person. The very first on top of my list is remove high expectations to avoid disappointment. Okay? Remove high expectations. That's the honest truth. Whether you're a man or a woman, if you meet this person, they're really amazing. They look fine. They look like they're going to know what they're doing in the other room. Please, remove high expectations. When you get there, whatever you see, so that you are not going to be disappointed. There are a lot of women that look so fine, so sweet, so da-da-da-da-da. When you take them into the other room and you take off everything they are wearing, Olympus will be falling. The downside will be, hmm, it will not even be juicy. You get, it might not even smell nice. All of those things, okay? And on the male side, you can go in and it is like this. You can go in and even though it's like this, it cannot do anything. It just enters and it's, ugh. Okay, so remove high expectation, whether you are a man or a woman. If you meet someone and you're trying to go and do the pleasure thing with them, just tell yourself that whatever I see, I will receive. Okay, and if you love them so much and you are more experienced than them, you make up your mind to teach them, hoping that they are teachable. Because there are some people that are not teachable. Even when you try to teach them what to do, they can never learn. That's the honest truth. Okay, so but generally remove high expectations to avoid disappointments. Secondly, and this is this, this one, a lot of people don't even think about this. Start with a chat. Health talk is very important. Health talk is very, very important. You have any STI, STDs? Last time you did HIV thirst. Okay, you need to start checking all of this. You need to have this conversation. You don't just start talking with someone and the next thing, boom, you are going inside to do the do with them. Okay, that's why I don't advise you know, like, um, what was it, what's it called? I don't advise all of this one night stands, except you have this proper discussion. That's why it's important you get to know people before you jump into bed with them, okay? So make sure you have the hell talk. Make sure that they, they, they are safe. I know some of them can lie. That's the honest truth, but try to have that conversation, okay? Talk about protection. Don't just jump in and you're not asking, oh, do you have condom? Try, find out. Okay, because sometimes when you, when it's, you know, in the moment, they're like, oh, I don't have a condom. It's okay, fine. That's just because you guys are already honey for each other. No. Start, chat with this, with this person, okay? Get to know them. Get to know their health status and also talk about protection. Know if you guys are going to do withdrawal or you guys are going to use some physical condom or if you guys are going to take some pills when you are done. So that is not when you are done, the girl is contacting you that she's pregnant. Some of these people are already pregnant and looking for who to pin it on. Paternity fraud is wild now. So don't just jump into bed with anybody without having all of these talks and getting prepared. Also, in line with that, you need to set boundaries. Okay, that's why I'm talking. That's why I say start with a chat. It could be before you guys meet or even while you guys are there. Set boundaries while you're, while you're talking about protection and health issue. Also, let the girl know that if I feel anything around my anus, I'm going to punch you. Okay? Set boundaries. Let the girl know that, okay, I can be kinky, but not kinky up to this point. All right? You need to set your boundaries because girls are wild. And also are guys too, but like, you know what I mean? You could be doing something with a girl and the next thing she's trying to put her fingers through the back door. Yes! Things are happening crazy. Things are happening. It's true. So set boundaries while you are talking. Let them know that you are not going to do this to me. And I'm not going to do it to you. Because you could be doing something and the girl will tell you, you know, choke me until I pass out. 
That's how I like it. But don't be scared. Just keep going until I pass out. That's how I enjoy it. Set boundaries or you'll be arrested for, for killing somebody. Okay, so have that chat before you go in. Capish? Now, the next point that you are supposed to pay attention to before you, you know, know that you need to do plenty kisses. Don't joke with it. I know some of you are having pleasures, sexual pleasure without kissing. I don't know how you are doing. I don't know the magic some of you use, but I have come to understand that it happens. You can just do it without it. But make sure that deep kisses are involved. It will help you. It's part of foreplay, and as you already know, foreplay is very important, okay? So, deep kisses, plant it everywhere, not just on her lips. There are places on a woman's body that needs to be, that kisses needs to be planted. Her ears, her neck, all of this region, mm, really sweet. Her ears, okay, her belly button, her cleavage, her lower back, her inner thighs, her feet, her hands, bro. There are a lot. See, it's not the same for every woman. That's why you need to explore. Take your time and be planting the case and be present while doing it. Because if you plant it in a place that she likes, the sound she's going to give is going to be different from when you're just planting it randomly. Okay? And deep kisses. Okay? Deep kisses. Not just... No. Deep. 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 That's what you're going to be doing. All right, deep kisses, not just you get it. Thank you. And while you are that, foreplay generally should not be rushed. My goodness, I hate it when guys rush foreplay. And remember, this is your first time with this person, so you want to create a very good impression. Don't be in a hurry to go and get the big O. Do not make that mistake, okay? Give them foreplay to the point that their brain is almost busting to the point where they are literally begging you, bro, do this thing or I'm going to die. Okay, that's what you want to do. Foreplay is very important and do not rush it while you're planting the cases using your fingers, your body. I've taught you about the general foreplay where you use your entire body to give it to them everywhere. Don't rush it, okay? Take it slow and steady, except it's a quickie, except you guys are in a hurry. That's understandable, that's pardonable. But if, it, if, if you are taking your sweet time, where are you rushing to? After you now do, you'll be both of you now rich. You just sit down and be looking at each other weird and very uncomfortable you're not gonna like it so take your sweet time okay take your sweet time and handle foreplay like foreplay should be handled okay do not be in a hurry to insert and finish all right do not rush foreplay another important thing to know before trying to pleasure this new partner is massages you guys are sleeping on massages. You know, massage is a kind of foreplay also. Well, we don't really add it to foreplay, but massages will help you open doors as well. When you do oil massage for your partner, see, that's why a lot of times when people go to all these spas and massage center, they ask you for happy if you want happy ending because they can already see your body begging for it. Yes, there's a way you massage your woman. I think I'm going to create a separate video on body massage for pleasure, but it's going to be posted in my Patreon. Exactly, yes. So if you want to see that video, go join my Patreon, not the free one, the paid one, all right, so that you can boost my energy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to be posting about massage, exactly how you're supposed to massage to give your woman maximum pleasure, all right? But do not sleep on massage. You see that butt cheeks? Massage it. Put oil on your hand, okay? Put your finger in between her ties from the, you know, back area and do this in between her ties with oils all over her body. You will start feeling the wetness on these fingers because as you're going down, you're going to be bringing all of the wetness out. You guys, you're sleeping on massage, honestly. But anyways, massage is your best friend. If you want to learn how to massage, join my Patreon. The video will be dropping there soon. Yes. Another thing you need to know before you drop into bed with that person is dirty talking. Now, I already have a video on dirty talking, so let me not stress on that. So, you know, peruse through my page, all right? Peruse this page. You will see videos on dirty talking. It will help you, okay? Learn to talk dirty. Ask for things, okay? Say things. Tell your woman what you're going to be doing to her while you are doing it to her, okay? While your woman is also pleasuring you, Ask things from her. Tell her, baby, I want you to do this to me. Baby, I want to do this to you. Baby, I'm going to do this to you. 
those are the kind of things you have to be doing. So practice it, okay? One thing about dirty talking is you are not screaming. You are, you are talking in your most masculine voice and also in a very calm and soothing manner. I like I like dirty talking. I don't know why. I just like it. When I talk about it also, it just gives me ginger. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about the next point. Now, this next one might surprise some of you, but don't focus too much on orgasm. That's the honest truth. If you're meeting someone for the first time, focus on pleasure. Trust me. If you focus on pleasure, it will be easy for you to help them have an orgasm without doing too much. But if you're focused on orgasm, you'll be so distracted from the pleasure. And if you don't get the orgasm, you will be frustrated. So why don't you just enjoy yourself? Okay? Don't focus on, oh, I want to make her come seven times. No. Focus on, I want to give her pleasure that she will never forget me. Okay? And so that when you're focused on pleasure, you're going to be enjoying it more. When you're focused on orgasm, you're focused on a tax. So it becomes work. Rather than it being fun, it becomes work for you. It's now something that, it, it, it's now a target. You're now working instead of enjoying. You're now working hard to achieve a goal. Okay? So if you're going in with this new partner, forget about the big O and focus on pleasure. Like it or not, it's not every time that sexual pleasure needs to end in an orgasm. No. Sometimes it just has to be pleasure. That's why we have quickies. And quickies are one of the best things that anybody will tell you that they like. Okay? Because of the whole, the pleasure that comes with it, that quick pleasure that comes with it also is something that's really enjoyable and really exciting. So when you're going in with a new partner, don't over-focus on the big O. Don't make it a priority. Like I said, don't keep your expectations so high. Okay, whether you are a man or a woman watching this, okay? Just focus on enjoying yourself. Now, if, you're, if your focus is on enjoyment, you will just be enjoying, enjoying until, boom, you will have that big one. But if your focus is on the big one, you'll be trying so many things. You know, you'll be pushing so many buttons. You'll be pushing so many buttons because, how do I do it? Why is she not reaching? Why am I not doing this? How, am I doing something wrong? You, you will no more be present. You will no more be present. That's why it's very important that you focus on pleasure and not just achieving the big goal. All right? I hope that makes sense. And last on my list is aftercare. Don't be selfish when it comes to aftercare. I know we talk about selfish when it comes to money, but don't be selfish when it comes to aftercare. After pleasuring your woman and pleasuring yourself, take care of your woman, okay? If you're going to the washroom, help her to the washroom, okay? Get her some warm towels, okay? Give, bring breakfast in bed afterward, kiss her, cuddle her. Some of you, once you are done, you just stand up, you go to the washroom, you shower, you come, you just face the wall or you start pressing your phone, nothing. That's not the right thing to do. Like, bro, I don't like such selfishness. Okay, so if you want to, if you want your woman to see you, like, you know, you know what you're doing. When you're done, cuddle her for a bit. Now, if you think it's too messy and you guys need to wash off, take her to the washroom or go to the washroom clean up. Get her a warm towel because a lot of times them girls be lying down on the bed, embarrassed as fuck. Okay, <laughs> embarrassed to stand up and they're just lying down with their big belly or flat tummy or whatever on the bed waiting for you to come clean them up so be a gentleman get a warm cloth okay and come wipe her out or get some tissues or some wipes baby wipes whatever and come clean your woman up or better still take her to the washroom and let her have a, a warm shower or a cold shower whatever she prefers and by the time she comes into the room get her a glass of wine a cup of water because water is very important she needs to drink water after that she needs to hydrate because i'm thinking it's a marathon okay so make sure that you get her water to drink or some, you know, cool wine to wash down all of this energy that she just lost. Okay. And also if it's, if it's time to sleep, make sure you cuddle her and make sure you give her kisses and say, you are so sweet. I like you. You know, I liked what happened and, you know, give feedbacks. It's very important. Also let your woman know that she did a good job. So while you're cuddling to her, baby, I liked when you do that, baby, you really bust my brain today, baby. I like it when we do this. I like your body. Your body is so soft. I'm so weak right now, but I wish I can go more. Like you're just so sweet and all of that. Like give those positive feedback. It will make your woman feel like she did an amazing job to you. Okay. It will make her feel like you enjoyed it. Okay. And when you appreciate, you get more. 
Well, you don't appreciate you make your woman feel like okay you don't even enjoy what you're doing so why should i even bother to give her so when you meet that new partner make sure you do all of this so that she can feel pleasured and so that you can also be pleasured all right so this is the end of the video for today you let me know what to think about the video in the comment section and guys join my patreon if you want to talk to me directly and if you want me to match make you to the love of your life for marriage not for knocking all right so i will see you next time let me not think about this video all right and follow me on all of my social media platforms all right so keep living life keeping champs and bye for now Mwah.